In this video, I'm going to be going over my pros and cons of the new Samsung Galaxy A55 5G. Stay tuned. Alright everyone, hopefully guys are having a good day. Hopefully everyone is safe out there. We have the Samsung Galaxy A55 5G in the house right here. And I've been using this device for a few days now and I think it's time to give you guys some pros and cons in this. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about some things I like about this device and some things I really do not like about this device. Without further ado, we're just gonna go ahead and start off with the pros. All right guys, so the first pro is going to be kind of like a three part pro about this device. The first First one is of course amazing build quality on this device. This is flagship standard build quality on this phone. So of course we have the glass back. This is going to be Gorilla Glass back. So we have some protection back there as well. And on the sides we're going to of course have aluminum or brushed aluminum on the sides, top and bottom. So just a beautiful all around phone with this premium build. So there's no one that's going to feel like this isn't a flagship device right here. We also have a bigger body. So last year, if you guys know what the Galaxy A54, we had a 6.4 inch display. And as you guys see right here, we have a 6.6 .6 inch display right here. It definitely feels big in the hand. This is almost the same size as the Galaxy S24 Plus. So the people who are wanting a bigger phone, this one is definitely going Going to be for you so 6.6 .6 inches right here big beautiful display on this and we also have a cherry on top with the ip67 water and dust resistance on here so we have some extra protection for splashes spills and all that type of stuff so really decent to see that certification on here especially since many phones in this price range do not have the ip67 certification all right guys, so our second pro is going to be the updated processor inside of the Galaxy A55 and I've definitely noticed it. I felt like this is a smoother processor from the 1380 to the 1480. So if you guys don't know already, we have the Exynos 1480 inside of this for our chipset. So of course we have a little bit more of a premium, more updated, more powerful processor inside of here. So games like Genshin Impact, PUBG Mobile, Call of Duty Mobile, and I believe the newest release of Call of Duty on here. You guys are going to be able to play those games on here they're going to actually look better i feel and run better than last year's 1380 processor in the a54 and of course we're going to do a full gaming review on this as well but it's just nice to have a newer refreshed processor since many phones in this price range don't really update their processor ever so great to see the in-house 1480 from Exynos in here. Our third pro is going to be the speakers on our Galaxy A55. And if you guys did not know already, we actually have stereo speakers on the A55. One is going to be right here in our headset and the second one is going to be at the bottom. So they're going to be firing on all cylinders directionally at you and of course at the bottom right there. So even when you're playing video games, it's going to be really hard to block up that headset speaker. So things like watching TV shows, watching movies, playing video games is going to be a great time with this. Also, I've heard absolutely no tin on the speakers. So we have some really, really good quality speakers on here. They're very loud and they're actually super crisp as well. So we have some very, very good quality speakers Samsung put inside of here. All right guys, so our fourth pro is going to be that we have micro SD card slot expansion. So if you guys want to, for whatever reason, put more videos, put more photos, put more files on this device, you guys can actually expand the storage via micro SD card and it's going to be on back of the SIM card slot inside of here. So you have one slot for your SIM card and on the back of that, you guys can buy a micro SD card and pop that in there for some more storage as well. So it's beautiful to see that, especially since in 2024, many other devices around this price tag do not have that. So Samsung, thank you for keeping that for the Galaxy A55 users. That's a very, very nice touch. All right guys, so my fifth pro and probably my favorite pro is going to be, we have of course our Polish UI 6.1 features. And of course we have Android 14 out of the box right here. But the greatest thing is that we're actually gonna have four years of operating system updates on this device. It's very unbelievable. We're gonna go from Android 14 to Android 18. So you guys are gonna be covered all the 
the way until like 2029 if you want to, since we actually do have four years of OS updates and five years of security updates on this device. So you guys are going to be able to run this device for years to come. So if you guys want to kind of splurge and buy a device that's a little bit more out of your price range, this device is going to last you for that long. So really awesome that Samsung has promised and entitled the Galaxy A55 to those updates. Really, really nice to see that on here. All right, guys, so those are all of the pros on the Galaxy A55. I do have a few cons on this device, so let's get into them. All right, guys, so our first con, of course, is the elephant in the room. This is not going to be released in the United States of America, and I know a lot of people were pissed off about that. A lot of people wanted to see this in the United States, but it looks like we got the Galaxy A35 uh, and the A30 series back in the United States rather than the A50. And our next con in the Galaxy A55 is this was an expensive phone at launch. This device was around 500 bucks at launch. And for $500, especially in the United States, you guys already know you can get the Pixel 7a for 374. You can get the new OnePlus 12R for around 500 bucks with some crazy specifications and a crazy chipset inside of there. You guys can save a lot of money and get just some other decent phones around this price tag. So for the Galaxy A55, I don't think $500 is justified to be quite honest. I know after taxes, I paid around 480, so it wasn't all the way 500 bucks, but it was very, very close to that $500 price tag. I just don't think this is justified since you can get like the S23 FE around the same price tag and the S24 as well. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think about that in the comment section down below. Third con is gonna be the thick bezels on this device. I do not know why they keep doing this. My guess is because they wanna differentiate this from the S series devices, which I guess you can go ahead and do that. But we got some thick bezels on here, look at that. We got a thicker chin at the bottom, not as big as the A15 or anything like that, but we still have some thick bezels around this phone. I know a lot of people don't care about this and they usually disappear while you're using your applications, watching your movies and stuff like that, but yeah, really thick bezels on this device right here. I feel like most people still won't care, but I definitely noticed them. And of course, the fourth con on this device, something that I personally feel about the Galaxy A55, is we had some very, very small incremental upgrades from the Galaxy A54 going to the A55. If you guys don't know about the A54, We've only really went from the Exynos 1380 to the 1480, so we got a little bit more power in this device. Not anything super, super major, but we got a little bit of a power bump as far as the processor goes. And of course, we got a bigger display right here. So we have a 6.6 .6 inch display compared to last year's Galaxy A54 at 6.4 inches. So those are the only upgrades that I've seen thus far on this device. Obviously, we're going to go deeper into the camera later on and that's another reason for you guys to stay tuned for that but those are my pros and cons on the galaxy a55 5g if you guys have this device personally let me know your own pros and cons in the comment section down below and let me know what you guys think about this device so far but hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully this video helped out at all if you guys enjoyed it definitely hit that like button as well as subscribing and hitting the notification bell if you guys want to be notified every time i upload a new video again this has been safan from Tech right. Peace out, teching.